Hey guys, Pete Williams here and welcome to day 20 of the 30 day challenge. By now we should have had about 24 hours worth of traffic coming to our main blog via our targeted keyword phrase and then what we're going to do is uh, increase that traffic a little bit more today by adding the category level keywords to our AdWords campaign. This way we can increase the amount of traffic and uh, get the results to ensure that our niche is commercially viable a little bit quicker. Then beyond uh, goes my camera. Beyond, I don't know if you can still see me, but beyond the um, uh, traffic we're going to get, we're going to talk about getting and split testing ads. So uh, a way to actually ensure we get the highest click-through rate possible and we'll uh, talk about getting all that organized and we'll uh, go from there. So let me finish off getting home. We'll jump inside the computer and we can uh, go through today's lessons. All right, guys, enjoy. All right, so here we are inside my trusty laptop and our AdWords campaign. So before we get started and add some additional adverts and some additional keywords in here, I wanna take two minutes just to have a quick review of how the account's gone so far. So if I simply click on the campaigns tab, wait for that to load, and then come across to the date section just to ensure we have up to the minute data. Uh, by default, Google only shows full day's data, so it won't show the clicks we've received today. So by just selecting today being the 17th and hitting go, it'll show the data that includes today's traffic. So, uh, and that track's generally a couple of hours delayed. Uh, so what we'll see here is that we've had four clicks through to our site so far from AdWords, which is great. Uh, a total impressions of 47 which means our ad has been displayed to Google users a total of 47 times. So 47 impressions with four clicks equates to a fantastic click-through rate of 8.51%, which I am absolutely wrapped with. Uh, our average cost per click, or CPC, you can see there is 42 Australian cents. Now, even though my maximum cost per click bid is 65 cents, based on our quality score, our cost has only had to be 42 cents per click. And the very right hand column there, average position shows uh, a result of 5.4, which means our ad has on average been shown at position 5.4 out of all AdWords adverts, which has been great. So to go a little bit more granular and look at it from a keyword basis, if we simply click the keywords tab, it'll actually display the results on a per keyword level. So we can see here that Children's Sleeping Bags on a broad match has had 44 impressions, the, by far the bulk of the impressions, uh, and two clicks, which is 4.5% click-through rate. Uh, the exact match, which have been my searches, which have skewed the results, have had three impressions and two clicks, uh, giving the overall click-through rate of 8.51%. Now, the right-hand column you can see here is the quality score. To turn that on and off, if you simply hit filters and views and then customize columns you can simply turn the quality score on or off now this rating out of 10 is the uh, rating that Google gives your keyword level quality score now these are the three elements that I spoke about in yesterday's video uh, so far so good we've had 10 out of 10 which means that the keyword has uh, matched a very relevant advert which again has actually matched a very relevant landing page so the quality of the user's experience when they see our ad and click through is 10 out of 10, which is great. Now, uh, all happy with that. We don't want to do any judging yet. We want to get to that magical 200 um, levels of track level of visitors to uh, before we make any decisions on our niche and if it's uh, commercially viable. But this is helping uh, speed up that process. Now, what I want to do here is just click on the ads tab just to get an idea of uh, the ad we've had run so far and be in a position to put in some new adverts. Now, before we go ahead and actually add any new adverts in, I wanna have a quick idea and a quick look at what our competitors' ads are. Who's actually competing for us when we actually uh, display our ad to users? So if I go over to Google and do a, uh, a Google search, which I've already prepared for you, uh, you'll see here that in this particular search, my result has actually come up number one, which is uh, very, very cool. So. Looking around here, there's nothing really that stands out. Obviously, uh, the bolding of the uh, words children's sleeping and bags 
makes a big difference to the way the ads are displayed. Clearly, our ad has the uh, the best use of those keywords in the title, the URL, and the description. Uh, a lot of other competitors here haven't done that, which uh, is possibly one of the reasons that our ad, even though it's generally appeared down at position five, which would be one, two, three, four, five, somewhere around here, has still had a good click-through rate because it's above the fold and it's had uh, good bolding. Uh, there's nothing else that really stands out here that we should really worry about. Uh, so let's go in and look at some uh, variations of ads that I've created to give you a bit of an idea of what's possible inside AdWords, what I've tested and found that works well from general rules, and to also get your own creative juices flowing so when you come to create your own ads, you've got a bit of a foundation to work with. So let's jump across into the little keynote presentation. And here are some possible adverts to test. I've gone ahead and sort of written up uh, eight or nine different adverts uh, for, with various sort of strategies behind them and I want to go through them with you now. So the first one you see here is uh, headline children's sleeping bags. Uh, that's how it would appear. I'll always use that keyword insertion tag that we spoke about yesterday. The first line of it, the description here is simply some, some keywords or um, some power words that have been broken up by little columns which you can find above the uh, backspace key on your keyboard. I've tested this quite regularly and found this is one of the more powerful ways um, to get click-through rate by having keywords um, split up with um, this column scenario. So you don't have to actually worry about a functional sentence, which is often hard to do with AdWords being such a short character restriction. So uh, reviews, recommendations and ratings on the best children's sleeping bags is uh, one ad that I'm definitely going to test in this particular niche. Uh, second uh, ad here I've got is using the typical free advice and help choose uh, very much power headlines that um, Brent would have mentioned in the uh, previous video he did early on about writing adverts and things for your actual uh, blog post. Uh, the third advert you see here is free advice again on selecting the right children's sleeping bags and I've also thrown in a question mark in the headline. Uh, what I've found that works well is question marks and um, things like looking for sleeping bags or want a sleeping bag. Obviously due to character restrictions I couldn't work with that but I thought I'd still throw in the question mark and see how it goes to give that whole message to market match scenario that's very very important because you want your message on your advert to actually match the market you're trying to meet here and the market here is people looking for children's sleeping bags. Now the third series of ads here you'll see look very very similar but there are some slight variations. Uh, first and foremost I've gone with the discover the secrets style uh, description here or on body copy um, which is obviously a very time and time tested uh, headline. Now, the difference between the first and the second advert here is simply a couple of full stops at the end of the second line. Now uh, I know it looks like a very very small change but you'll be amazed at some of the simple things you can do in your AdWords adverts that make huge differences to the click-through rate and things like full stops and exclamation marks and things like that can make a very significant dis difference to the click-through rate. And then the third ad, the only thing I've changed between the second one and the third is the term selecting. So rather than discover the secrets to choosing, the third ad is going to be discover the secrets to selecting. Only a very slight difference again, but that word might resonate a lot more with our market. And our final column here, I've gone for the must, you must read this before you buy style uh, uh, body to the advert, which is again another tested and true uh, headline style or um, benefit or more of a fear driven style advert. And then the final two adverts you see here, I've played with the headline a little bit. I've put some talking marks around one and uh, put some bullets around the second one, which you can do by just cut and pasting out of a, uh, a text editor. Uh, again, so only some slight changes, but can be enough to grab those eyeballs of the user and uh, get them to click on the ad, which is what we're trying to achieve. So let's jump back inside Google and I will uh, use one of these adverts to actually uh, write up a second ad. Okay, so here we are back inside our AdWords campaign. Now, what I want to do here is simply add a new advert, another text advert here. Uh, now the campaign I want to add it to is obviously the children's sleeping bags and I'm going to add it into our original ad group. As we throw in some more keywords and ad groups into this particular campaign which will be the next video today, 
you'll see all the other ad groups that are available. But I want to still focus on my children's sleeping bag advert. So my headline's going to be exactly the same. I'm going to actually try the one with a question mark here. So I'll put the question mark in there. And I'm going to go for the uh, reviews, ratings, recommendations. Have I spelt this correctly? Reviews, ratings, recommendations on all children's sleeping bags. I'm going to throw this advert in here to see how we go. So I simply hit save ad. And here are the two ads that will be running through Google. Now, what Google will do is, uh, based on the campaign settings I've chosen, or the default campaign settings, is run the adverts opt at an optimized rate. Now, what that means is they will show the best performing ad, the ad with the highest click-through, more often. Because obviously, it's going to help you, and it's going to help them. It's going to help you by showing the better ad to actually ensure you're getting the highest possible chance of getting the click, and also to help Google because the higher chance and the more frequent you get a quick a click, sorry, the uh, more they get paid. So that's the uh, the basics of adding in additional ads. Now, I don't recommend you throw in five or six ads at the same time. I always try and uh, leave only like two, possibly three ads in any ad group at the one time. That way you're getting the results quicker. If you've got nine ads in there, it's gonna take longer for all the ads to get a fair amount of impressions before you can make a clear decision. So start off with one or two ads, give it a few days and a decent amount of traffic, and then as you go, you can get a feel for where you should start putting in new ads and deleting the lesser or the poorer performing ones. So that's the first step for today. Jump in, write some ads, put your first ad in there, and then we'll uh, watch the second video, and we'll go about adding some additional keyword and ad word groups to your campaign.